I'd like to see him now, if you don't mind. Uh, Julian, don't you think you ought to get a little rest? Oh, nonsense. I'm in better shape than you are. I saw that limp. Uh, by the way, what's the problem, little old gout? Oh, I got tackled. Tackled? Yeah, I went for a little run this weekend, and I was coming across this vacant lot, and some kids were playing touch football, so like a macho fool, I decided to join them. You still surfing? No, not anymore. I won't let him. Can I see paper now? Dr. King, welcome back. Oh, thank you, Jackpot. It isn't the gambling fool. How are you? Kathy, fine. How you been? You look wonderful. Oh, thank you. So do you. Books must be paying off. Yeah. Well, don't mind me. I only work here. What's this, a new one? Yeah, it's for charity. Oh, for charity. Well, we can't pass that up. Yeah. Darling, why don't you choose one for me? I don't know anything about horses. You're kidding. I don't know one end of the horse or the other. Come on. Well, I... All right. Um, Juliet's Revenge. Okay. There you have it. Put ten on it for me. You got it. Mm -hmm. See you later. Anytime. That's what I like about this hospital. Nothing ever changes. Not even Slocum? Oh, especially Slocum. You know, come to think of it, he'll be wanting me to check in, won't he? Maybe I should do get that over with now. Uh, Gonzo, forgive me. I won't be long. Oh, it's okay. I'll get a cup of coffee. Oh, I'll, I'll go with you. Well, darling, you don't have to come with us. You'll be bored to tears. I'll see you later at the hotel. All right. But you never ask. Come on. Yeah, I agree with Jackpot. I've never seen you looking better. I guess marriage agrees with you. Oh, it does. It really does. Julian's the most wonderful man I've ever known. Oh, you know what I mean, Gons. He'll always be very special to me. So sort of like my big brother. <laughs> Kathy, uh, appreciate your honesty, but you can sure play hell with a man's ego. You know what I'm trying to say. Julian's very special. Very gentle, sensitive. Sometimes I just think he's too sensitive. What's the matter? Nothing. Sorry, I don't know what hit me. Well, you were talking about Julian. No, it's nothing, really. It's just crazy. I shouldn't even be talking to you about this. Okay, don't. Gonzo, I've got to tell somebody. It's up to you. He... He sees things. Pardon? He sees things, like the future. Look, about eight months ago, he had a surfing accident. He almost drowned. And ever since then, he's been having these, these visions. It, usually unimportant things. I mean, little accidents. Sometimes he's asleep, and sometimes he's just standing. You don't believe me. Uh, look, Kathy, it's not a question of belief. Yes, that's exactly what it's a question of. Because Julian doesn't believe it, and it's driving him crazy. It's driving me crazy. It's affecting his work. It's affecting our marriage. Everything. Uh, Dr. Gates, Dr. King is ready for you. He says Mr. Slocum was in, so he's gone directly to Picard of Aikman's room. Thank you, Ernie. Ernie, uh, this is King. It's Ernestine Schubert. Hello. Um, you want to... No, go ahead. I'm, I'll be fine. See you later. Cough. <laughs> Again? <coughs> Good. Good. I cough better than that when I'm well. <laughs> That's what I like about you, Collie. All smiles and sunshine. Well, if you want sunshine, go operate on Mary Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> Look, friend, I traveled over a thousand miles to be here at your request. Oh, well, anybody that does anything at my request, I got no respect for. <laughs> hey. Open those drapes, will you? The darkness in here is spoiling my good mood.
Stop being so solicitous. There's nothing wrong with me. Julian? Oh, Arnold. Are you all right? Yes, fine, thank you. I thought you were going over to see Bateman. Well, I've seen him already. I, I'm just waiting for some further x-rays and tests to be completed. I just thought I'd get some fresh air. Well, if there's anything I can do to make you more oh, comfortable. No, everything's fine, thank you. You sure? Yes, yes, Martin, it's fine. Good, good. Oh, by the way, I'm arranging a little uh, reception in your honor with a few good friends and members of the staff. Well, that's very nice, Arnold, but I really wish it wouldn't. Nonsense. It's the least that we can do. How about Friday night? Arnold, you know how I hate those things. How can you possibly hate something that's in your honor? Now, if Friday night's not convenient, we can put it over to Saturday. Why don't you check with Kathy and then let me know? Oh, I'm sorry, I've got to go. Nearing the halfway mark, it's still Bone Crusher in front with Pixie Wixie and Salad Greens. Where's the authority figure? Suit. Now, Pixie Wixie is fading a little, and Salad Greens moves ahead. Juliet's revenge is closing much ground. Oh, they Entering the stretch, oh. it's a Bone Crusher and Salad Greens neck and neck. What happened to an authority figure? And here comes Juliet's revenge closing strongly on the outside. It'll be close. Three noses on the wire, and Juliet's revenge is the winner by a short nose. Salad Green second with Pixie Wixie finishing third, followed by Bone Crusher, Trombone, and Authority Figure. Juliet's Revenge. Yes, uh, well, uh... I could have had ten dollars on the winner. At a hundred to one? Well, I hope you've learned your lesson, Miss Brancusi. Never bet on a favorite. about I dropped 200 Hey, I heard Juliet's revenge won. Did anybody bet on her? Kathy King, her husband picked her. Talk about blind luck. Maybe it wasn't luck. Maybe he can see the future. What? Nothing. What did you say? You said somebody can see something? Mrs. King thinks her husband can see the future. Oh, Ernie, that's just ridiculous. Not to some people, especially some Jamaicans. And remember, there may be more things in heaven and earth than I dreamt of in your philosophy. He did pick the right horse, didn't he? Sometimes it's better not to be alone. What is that supposed to mean? There are some things happening to you that you don't understand. At home, they're not unusual. At Jamaican, aren't you? Yes. Some of us learn to accept things as they come, for what they are, no more, no less. There's nothing unnatural about what's happening to you, Doctor. In my country, we accept heightened perception. I'm a scientist. I, I just can't accept that. I just leave you with your thoughts. Uh, this lesion's very precarious. It could progress to complete occlusion. How long do you think we have? Uh, it could be five minutes or five months. Real double jeopardy. No collateral flow. Look at the occlusion on the right. I think we've got to get Mr. Bateman into surgery by tomorrow morning. Yeah, 